What you're looking at right now are two projectors. One of them is 1080p resolution with 500 lumens, and the other one is 720p with 300 lumens. Now, I want you to take a really close look and tell me if you can tell the difference between the two. Which one is 1080p and which one is 720? Hi folks, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com, and if you're new here, I am the tech DIY expert of the internet. And today we're gonna to be talking all about portable projectors. And this is a little bit different one. Instead of just doing a review, we're doing a versus. We're taking two popular portable projectors from BenQ and putting them side by side comparison to help you decide which one is right for you. Now we're looking at the BenQ GS50 1080p portable projector. That's the one that's shaped in a cube. And then we're gonna compare it to the BenQ 720p portable projector, the GV30. And just by looking at these two projectors, you can tell that they have unique and different designs, but they're from the same company. The GS50 has that cube-like design, and you know, it is super portable at the same time. It's only about seven inches, you know, cube squared, or slightly a little bit smaller, but it really is super easy to use. It has a kickstand on the front and that allows you to raise the projector to get it onto the screen. The rubber feet on the bottom are not adjustable, so you just have that kickstand to make those adjustments. Now you compare that to the GV30 and look how different this design is. It almost looks like a big piece of cheese that you would see at the grocery store. And this design actually gives it a lot of advantages because it sits on a base and to adjust the screen, you just have to rotate it up and down and it kind of smoothly adjusts the screen so it can fit on virtually any type of surface. Now, being that they are BenQ, there are some similarities between both of them. Namely, the dongle, the Android TV dongle that they both come with is inserted internally by the user. So when you buy it, the dongle is actually in a separate box and you have to take um, the projector apart or at least a panel apart to get access to where the dongle goes and it fits perfectly in there and even has a micro USB connector to power it as well. Now the GS50, I was very, very disappointed because when I took the plate off to put the dongle in, there was this rubber gasket that came off and I must have spent at least a half an hour trying to get that gasket back on and I couldn't. And the reason why they have that rubber gasket is the GS50 has an IPX2 water resistant rating. So it's able to withstand light rain. And now that that gasket is off, I am very, very worried <laughs> about having any kind of water exposure because it could leak into where the dongle is located. Conversely, the GV30 actually comes with almost what looks like a guitar pick at this thing right here. And you actually have to open up one of the sides to get access to the dongle and then you can put it in. So I'm going to go with the GV30 design for the dongle because it was more secure and a rubber gasket did not fall off. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So if you do buy the GS50, when you take off that panel for the first time, be very, very careful. If that if that gasket comes off, you're trust me, you're not getting it back on. You can just operate it without it. But it's a kind of a design um, mishap on BenQ's part, if you ask me. Now let's get to the proof of the pudding. Now I'm very, very fortunate, folks. My next door neighbor built this gigantic projector screen in his backyard. Like this thing is huge. So big, in fact, that I was able to have both projectors side by side and I could compare them at the same time. So what I did is I played some stuff that I could find on YouTube, uh, some Animal Planet, and I queued it to the almost to the exact same spot on both projectors and then I pressed play on each controller and I tried to get it as close as I could so that we could do a side-by-side -side comparison of both 1080p resolution versus 720p. Because only when you look at it side-by-side -side are you gonna be able to tell what the difference is. And I just want you to look at this and tell me if you can tell which one is which. Which picture do you like better? Now, I don't even want to show you which is which because that will affect 
your your uh, judgment of it. So with this kind of double blind test, you really have to judge it by what you're seeing. Now, here's what I noticed. Both of these projectors equally did bad in daylight. If there is some type of light, these don't work very well. You can still get an image depending on how dark it is, but they're really made for night. Like as soon as they got dark, man, I was amazed. A 500 lumen projector and a 300 lumen projector both uh, had a stunning display that was very, very bright, but you need a dark environment. Now, if you look at these two images, you can see that the colors look a little bit different, but at, outside of that, I think you're going to be hard pressed to tell me which one is 1080p and which is 720p. So I just want you to look at this and you know, I, I should I show you? Okay, fine. Here, I'll, I'll go ahead. Now, now that you've made your decision, I want you to look and I'm going to expose. The one that you're seeing on the left is the GS50. That's the 1080p projector. The one on the right is the GV30, the 720p projector. And I have to tell you, you guys are watching it from a camera that I was filming at it. But I'm telling you, if you were there with me and you didn't know which projector was which, and I said, which one would you like? I think it'd be a 50-50 split just by chance alone. I don't think people would be able to tell which one was the 1080p and which was the 720p. And I wouldn't have thought, I would have thought that I could tell the difference had I not done this experiment, this back to back versus. And this is why I wanted to make this video. Even though I made standalone videos for each of these projectors, which I highly recommend you watch, and I even did unboxing videos for both, I had to do those versus because I wanted you to see what I was seeing. And I'm going to end off with this. You know, if I had to choose which projector I would keep, I would choose the GV30, the 720p. And why? You're probably asking why. One, you know, I couldn't really tell the difference. They both look good. And I just like the usability. To be able to just uh, change the angle on it, I just found that it was, uh, it was really easy to use. Even the speaker is smaller. You know, the GV30 has a 16 watt internal Bluetooth speaker, whereas the GS50 has 20 watts. Even that, even when, if you just look at the specs, I, I like the GV30. I just, you know, it even has its own case like the GS50 does, but it has everything. It's just, it's just really easy to use. It's got the autofocus, auto keystone. I like the M. I I can't believe I'm saying this, the 720p. I'm all right with it. You know, in this world of 4K, I just finished reviewing an 8K television, and here I am telling you that I would pick the projector that has 720p. I wouldn't have ever have thought I would have picked this had I not done that test. So all I'm trying to say is the GV30, even though the specs are worse than the GS50, you're gonna be very, very impressed with the quality. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this review of these two projectors, this little verses that I was doing of the GS50, the 1080p projector from BenQ against the GV30, the 720p projector. And I'm choosing the 720p. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. But hey, as they say, the proof's in the pudding. And I saw the pudding and I know which one I like. And it was on the right side just because of the usability. Even though I think maybe the GS50 had a better image, the usability makes me want to use and the design of the gv30 makes me want to pick that one anyways folks i'm just rambling again andy barrar handy andy make sure you subscribe like this video watch the other videos of these um of this series for benq and uh, let me know your thought which one would you like what could you and did you get it right could you tell this 1020p over 720p let me know in the comments below andy barrar handy andy from handy andy media signing out see you again next time